Hello, welcome back to Soul Search Sunday with Johnny Tiger on February 6, 2022. Today was a good day. Actually, Johnny Tiger is very fortunate to announce that uh, really most days are pretty good for Johnny Tiger. I think that comes in uh, being uh, relatively easy to please. Some people would say I have low standard, but hey, at least I'm happy most of the time. But today was nice. Um, I ordered some Chinese food for lunch from a Chinese restaurant I never tried before. Uh, I believe it's called Chinese barbecue and bar food, and it's they specialize in uh, some of the dim sum style Chinese buns and dumplings and stuff like that. When the food got here, I got a phone call from uh, the delivery guy, and he said he he wasn't willing to come bring food to the back door where my door was because my neighbor has a huge vicious looking dogs patrolling the property so he said he was going to drop the food in the front by the front door now most of you don't know that uh, for me to go get things from the front door I have to go out the back door and go around the side of the house and go to the front I don't have access to the front door that actually belonged to my uh, upstairs neighbor. So needless to say, I was really a little peeved because now I have to go out in the cold and get my jacket on, get my shoes on, and uh, go out and risk stepping on dog doo doos uh, to go around to the front to pick up my food, uh, which the delivery guy was supposed to bring to the back in the first place um, but anyway I did I put on my jacket and my shoes and went outside to get my food and just as I got to the front I suddenly realized you know what this is nice it is not that cold the sun is shining it's actually kind of warm to stand in the sun so just as a last spirit of the moment impulsiveness I decided I'm going to eat my food on the front lawn I probably look all kind of weird standing there cradling my Chinese takeout bag under one arm uh, while eating dim sum out of it with my bare hand just standing there eating enjoying the sun weird maybe <laughs> but hey it was really nice while i was doing that i was thinking to myself oh i am glad that the guy dropped the food by the front door making me come out so i could realize that it's so nice outside that is not the topic of the day however it is kind of uh, relevant, I suppose you can say. I don't know about you guys, but Johnny Tiger hates quitting. I know, I know, that, that, that seemed like a, a direct reverse in a going obvious, completely different direction of conversation. Uh, but uh, the, the, uh, what I mentioned about eating my food outside that really got uh, no bearing on the rest of today's topic other than being slightly relevant uh, so just count that as a we've put a period on it and now we're going we're starting a new uh, topic so like I was saying uh, I don't know about you guys but Johnny Tiger hates quitting uh, I think in this society we have all been in condition to believe that quitting is bad you can't quit quitting school is bad quitting on your homework is bad quitting on your exam is bad quitting your job is often viewed as bad quitting anything 
even when relationship don't work out, it's usually the person who called it off, the person who first break it up, that, that that people view as a bad person and the other person as a victim. So there's this stigma against quitting. We are taught that we should be dedicated, we should have determination, dedication, and loyalty, and all that stuff. However, there is a, there is that uh, phrase that said sometimes uh, God will close. One door and open another door for you. This week, while listening to a Chinese talk show, I heard a similar quote that really resonated with my life. This quote goes: Sometimes you spend a long time in your life, a big chunk of your life, knocking on the door. You knock, you knock, you knock, you knock, but that door is not opening. And usually, it's not until you decide to stop knocking and walk away that you realize that there were four other doors open to welcome you in, and that life could have been better all along. I really can relate to that because、uh, I can give you three incidences of Johnny Tiger's life in which quitting something made me feel bad at the time and made me look bad at the time, and yet it all resulted in much, much better things. Back in 2011, ah,、uh, 2011 was a really bad year for Johnny Tiger. A lot of things went wrong. One of the big things that happened 2011 was Johnny Tiger quit、uh, dragon boating. Ah,、uh, for those of you who don't know, dragon boat is this big war canoe, like Chinese canoe thing that can sit 20 people and. All twenty of you have to work at the same time to paddle that boat, which weighs about two thousand pounds, and you have to、uh, race other boat, other dragon boat, and、uh, it, it's a very strenuous and can be rather tedious sport. Johnny Tiger was a dragon boater for about eleven years, from two thousand to two thousand eleven. In two thousand eleven, due to a series of unfortunate Event in my personal life, and also some unsavory,、uh, unpalatable sports team politics、uh, among the dragon boaters. Johnny Tiger decided、uh, to leave dragon boating. Now, this was a very hard decision、uh, to make, and for the for a long time, it left. Me in a state of uh, emptiness. Uh, I mean, let's put aside that I did it for eleven years.、Uh, dragon boating is not simply like you go to the gym three times a, a week.、Uh, although I would venture to say, if you go to the gym three times a week,、uh, every week, every year for eleven years, and then you suddenly decide not to go anymore. It would mess you up inside. I I I would venture to say that, but dragon boating was even more than that because dragon boating you're working with other people, so in eleven years you build up a lot of reports, you build up a lot, a lot of camaraderies. Ah,、uh, people depended on you, you depended on people, and you also, in addition to the training, there's a lot of ah.、Uh, Hanging out, drinking, having fun, competing, traveling from different places, traveling to different countries, staying in hotel rooms, going to sightseeing. There's so much involvement in dragon boating that it was. I didn't realize how big a chunk of my life it was until I wasn't doing it anymore. So, needless to say, after quitting. 
I was a bit devastated on an emotional level. I suddenly felt like a big chunk of my life was missing and I didn't know what to do with myself. But it was because of leaving Dragon Boating. Because I freed up all that time and money and resources and energy that allowed me to return to the martial arts world. So you can say without Dragon, without me quitting Dragon Boning, without making that painful decision to be a quitter, without making it feel as if I was letting my teammates down, Johnny Tiger wouldn't be here today, at least wouldn't be the Johnny Tiger you guys know. Johnny Tiger wouldn't have won silver medal for Canada. Johnny Tiger wouldn't have been able to become uh, as good a martial art instructor, self-defense instructor as he is today. A night strike self-defense wouldn't have existed. So that's the first instant where quitting something, even though it was a big part of my life and something I really enjoyed, actually led to so much more. Another instant was my involvement with games. From 2006 all the way to 2017, so again, a good 10, 11 years, Johnny Tiger was involved with several online uh, gaming platforms, uh, either as administrator uh, or as builder, designer, uh, uh, and even on the personal playing and uh, on one of these games, I was uh, the, uh, the owner of an entire clan, an entire kingdom, and uh, I had to micromanage other players so the kingdom or the clan could thrive. Now, those of you that don't play games my think uh, you are over exaggerating how involved can it's a game that these are games how involved can it get well let me let me try to put this into perspective from the administrator from the admins uh, or builders end of things i had to create uh, a world within the game or a new piece of equipment or some new characters for the game for players to interact with. Uh, that have to come from my imagination. I have to write the descriptions. I have to write all the in interactions it can have with a player. And then I have to script in special functions. So if the player do this, this would happen. If the player do that, that would happen. I have to take into all kinds of uh, possibilities. And then iron out the bugs and uh, monitor the players when they first start interacting with what I just designed to make sure no bugs is uh, being exploited and uh, nothing is going to break. Long story short, uh, this was a process that involved Johnny Tiger staying up uh, all the way to four or five in the morning, hammering away at the keyboard, trying to figure out why is this door not opening when the player is uh, trying to open it? Why is this uh, thing breaking? Why is this character not talking to the player when it's supposed to be talking to a player? Go through hundreds, sometimes thousands of lines of text, uh, script language, uh, to figure out what's wrong with it. Uh, and then get up in the morning, go to work, come home, eat dinner, sit down at the computer uh, chair. As soon as I sit down and turn uh, my attention to the game, I would usually get hit with like 10 or 20 messages from different players. This is broken. That is not working. This is not supposed to work this way. And uh, it's just a vicious cycle. Every, every night it was like that. That's just a normal, normal day uh, trying to keep everything under control during special holidays like Christmas or Halloween, it got even crazier because uh, I usually 
script or program special events.、Uh, like for Halloween, we had this massive script to turn the entire game into a zombie apocalypse. And and I'm not just talking about loading a thousand zombies onto the game. Literally, the whole game is replaced with a、uh, almost identical copy, except all the normal characters are now zombified, and、uh, there's all the normal characters are replaced with Halloween characters. It it was that involved, and Christmas same thing. During those events, things break almost every hour or every two hours, which means even when I was at work, uh. uh Even when I was supposed to be resting, I had to be on top of like looking at the game and check my messages, check my emails every few minutes to make sure nothing's broken. I kept this up for almost eleven years, making other people happy, and this this was the very satisfying part because I knew I was doing a good job, and I knew that how much other people enjoyed、uh, playing. The games and the areas, the world, the characters I designed for them, it was rewarding, but it was exhausting.、Um, on the personal gaming side of things, where I have to micromanage an entire clan,、uh, which was made up of other players,、uh, that wasn't easy either. Again, it's not something that you can just play when you have free time. You got to. Log on to make sure that your clan has enough gold in the bank to pay taxes and、uh, monsters that need to be taken care of. It's taken care of because everything is real time. If you don't log on for a few days, something can go really, really wrong, and you can lose your entire kingdom, and other players will get mad at you. <laughs> so,、uh, it, it was like double whammy,、uh, trying to be the A leader of a clan and trying to be the admin and builder for the,、uh, the games. It was an unending cycle, day and night of scripting, of solving problems. It was like work. It really was like work.、Um, except I wasn't getting paid、uh, hardly anything. I mean, as an admin for the game, I got paid sometimes, but、uh, it was very rare. Needless to say,、uh, by 2017, I decided this had to end. And again, this was a very difficult decision because I've made so many good friends on these games.、Uh, one of them, my、uh, very very good friend Richard,、uh, who I uh, uh, met on the games we played, we designed, and we did so much. There's a lot of late night conversation.、Uh, Drinking whiskeys and typing, texting, and all that stuff.、Uh, and yeah, the, the, I made a lot of good friends, and a lot of them、uh, I never, I haven't spoken to since I left the games.、Uh, so it was like le- again leaving a big chunk of my life behind. But what I realized was, all my creative energy was being drained. By what I was doing for the games, and、uh, in case you haven't noticed, Johnny Tiger has a very definite creative streak.、Um, always wanted to write something or do some art project or、uh, record something,、uh, play something. But all this time, when I was involved with these games, I found I barely had any time to sleep. Never mind create anything. Uh, outside the game, that is. So I finally decided, okay, I need I need to move on. I need to quit this. Otherwise, I'm never going to get anything done. So, to my pain and to the disappointment of a lot of my friends on the games,、uh, I stopped. And it was because of that it freed up enough creative energy. So we have the Johnny Tiger Experience podcast and these daily videos today. If I am still involved with the games, <laughs> then there's no way I would have the energy to be standing here doing a Soul Search Sunday so leisurely. 
The third and last, I've mentioned this before, so I don't even need to go into this too much. Johnny Tiger was in an 18 years relationship. 18 years relationship that has uh, slowly been going stale. It was dying a very slow and painful uh, death. Even then, Colin quit and that relationship was very, very difficult. Uh, I had a hard time forgiving myself after that. But, well, most of you know what happened after that. Leaving that relationship turned out to be one of the greatest thing, greatest decision I've made in my life because now I'm in a truly, truly happy uh, relationship where everything uh, click into place. I'm in the kind of relationship that I always thought would only exist in books and movies. And now I'm living it. So, I don't know about other people's life, but at least in my life, at least in the life of Johnny Tiger, it seems that quitting isn't always a bad thing. 